All right, guys, today let's take a look at this guy. I just bought this off of eBay. It is the Eva Grout, and it says aluminum there, and I think the, the key is aluminum. It's a really light key, so I don't know why they'd be so proud as to put that on there, but that seems to be the case. It's got some awesome bidding. It is only a five pinner. I took a quick look. I thought at first that that last uh, cut there was for a pin, but when I tested the lock, it doesn't really go in far enough, so I'm pretty sure it's only a five pinner. Works perfectly, but we don't need that stinking key. The other reason I bought this, take a look at that keyway. I mean, almost every Eva that I've ever run into has had a really paracentric keyway like that. So it makes it extra, makes it extra challenge to get inside of these. I'm going to try to pick this. Let me reach across here with some of my SS dev picks. This is a 15,000th. I got this one from Sparrows. And this is the deep hook. And I'm trying to do this through the camera. See if I can get him in there. He might be a too much. Let's try his little brother. From the same kit, this is the medium hook from the SS Dev. These are 15,000th, by the way. Just came out with these not too long ago. He's dragging a little, but I think this is probably the one we want. So we'll give it a shot. Let me go ahead and clamp it up and see if we can't get in this thing. I'm gonna clamp it with the, the longer end and that way my actuator doesn't get pinched. Whoop, 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 whoop. Trying to make sure it's tight enough. Got a little overboard there. Let me count these just to be sure. Yep, I'm only counting five. Zoom in. I'm gonna use some top of the keyway. And let's see if we can make that happen. It's going to be at a little bit of a weird angle. Let's try the thinner one. There we go. All right, this is the 0.8 millimeter from Mad Bob's. Yeah, it's got a little blue sleeve on it. And that ought to work. All right, before we start though, why don't we do this? You guys seem to like this. And I do too. I'm going to pick it in the clockwise direction. So let me tension it a little bit. And then I'll draw the black mark. Hopefully. So if we get a fault set, you guys should be able to pick it out pretty easily. I'm pretty sure we will. These uh, Evas usually are have some T-pins and uh, spool pins, etc. All right. So light tension. And let's find it. Let's find that binder. This is like pin one. Or maybe I'm picking the warding. It's hard to tell. I got a click off him. Ah, and there we go. Got a little bit of a fault set going. Fault set would indicate we have a security pin. And there he is. It's a pin three. Is that counter rotation? So he's a spool. So he's picked. Let me check all these guys in the back here. I just brushed against four and it turned a little bit. Got a little bit deeper fault set. Okay, there's three. A little counter rotation. I'm sorry, that's two. Okay, we got our fault set back. Nice and deep. So we're probably still hung up on another spool. All we got to do is find, there he is, pin four, counter rotation. That clicking here is me falling off this real fine tipped pick. Keeps falling off the tip. I'm really going to lighten up on my tension. And nice, really deep fault set now. Looking for another spool. Or possibly a T-pin. If I was a T-pin. And there we got to open. All right. I am not going to gut this. Um, there's nothing that complex about the lock. It, uh, although it isn't new, I really don't want to have to cut it. And I don't really have the tools to pop all the guts apart. And even if I did, probably couldn't get it back together competently. Anyway, fellas, there you go. The Eva Grout. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal.